what's up you guys come on in i hope you guys are having an amazing day come on in and get this message you guys this is going to be um the message for the heart realm okay so we're going over the sacred knowledge of the 13 realms and um we are now on the heart realm okay so if you clicked in here there's something about the heart realm that god wants you to know okay um, so I hope this message is finding you guys doing great and just know that it hasn't found you by mistake. OK, um, if you clicked in here, it's because I have a word for you on today. So let's get it. OK, um, be sure you stick to the end, you guys, because this read at the end, I have a little little uh, uh, dream, um, prophetic dream okay, that God gave me to go with this energy. So the heart realm, you guys, is ruled by the energy element of air okay that's aquarius libra gemini okay and in this realm um it is tied to the sun of the west which is god's son of the west which is tied to our wow this is funny because my note says it's tied to our rich channel okay but it's supposed to say right channel all right so <laughs> um something about rich someone's name could be rich or this is just the energy that god wants i don't know i feel like that wasn't a mistake even though it was a, a typo um it wasn't a mistake okay so god's son of the west which is tied to our rich right channel or our sun slash ego chakra okay um this is where we're at in the heart realm. Okay. So this is tied to our right channel chakra. Okay. You guys, or the sun chakra or the ego chakra, whichever way you would like to resonate. Okay. Um, it looks like it is meant to be rich or rich. Rich is giving like you eat a chocolate cake and it's very rich, rich. Okay. So I don't know, take that as it resonates, but let's move forward here with the message, okay? So in my notes here, it says that this segment of the heart chakra is also tied to Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael comes with the green orb, not, could be, not to be confused with the turquoise green, but this is like emerald green or bright green orb, okay? And it's also tied to the extraterrestrial line, of grace okay the grace okay you guys all right so for more details or if you guys need the backstory y'all feel free um to tap into the message titled the awakening okay it was done about a week or two ago okay um and the sacred knowledge of the 13 realms read also done around the same time okay and within the same week okay um that will kind of give you the worksheet per se that you need to understand this energy okay or this realm all right now in this room you guys the room of the heart is where you can find healing for the inner child from past life trauma now your past life could have been yesterday the trauma you experienced yesterday all the way to the trauma you experienced lifetimes ago okay um, but this requires reviewing the past to transform your thoughts and feelings so that you can transmute the energy surrounding them that is trapped or bottled here in the heart center. Okay. Y'all might need to rewind what I just said back so that you could really get what I'm saying here. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and repeat it. It says this requires review of the past to transform your thoughts and feelings so that you can transmute the energy surrounding those past traumas and experiences that tend to get trapped or bottled here in the heart chakra see when we bottle those things up or when there's energy like that that's trapped in the heart then you're closed off, blocked, okay? <clears throat> and when you're closed off or blocked, that means you can't receive, okay? All right? So you want to make sure you do that healing so that what you are receiving 
is worth your while. Okay, you guys? All right. So this process is referred to as the removal of the rose tinted glasses. Yeah, I know. I mean, she got to really dig deep and look at what role you played in all the choices and experiences in your life. You guys, I had to do this and I still do it. Okay. And, um, let me just share my little, y'all know, I love to tell y'all my testimony because that be how I teach you, how I express or explain, um, the energy. Hold on. Had to get a little water. Okay. So basically there was a situation where I made a very poor decision. Okay. Um, in my past. Okay. <clears throat> and in order for me to move on from that one, I had to like forgive myself. I had to really see that it was me who ultimately was the one that made that decision. Okay. Like sometimes in things that we do and decisions that we make in life, we want to blame others. We want to be like, Oh, but that wasn't me. Oh, but that wasn't my fault. Oh, but that was this. Oh, but if they hadn't have did this, then I wouldn't have done this. But the truth is you have the final say. You are the one who controls your temperature. There should be nothing <clears throat> that one person outside of you can do that will make you do anything, okay? Y'all are in full control of your own actions and behaviors, okay? Be right back. So, yes, that's what I mean. Take a look at what you have done that maybe you're not so proud of or what you were a part of that maybe you weren't so proud to say you were a part of, okay? And really look at it and be like, okay, you know, be real with yourself. Be real with God about what got you in that predicament, okay? And then transmute the energy. Take your power back from it, okay? Don't play the blame game. Um, don't, don't ignore with the rose tinted glasses, the part that you, uh, played in, in life, in your life. Okay. So I had to remove the rose tinted glasses over a few things in my past. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say that. Okay. Um, but once I did, man, I really gained my power back. And then going forward, I was able to learn the power of discernment. So that I didn't find myself in those predicaments and situations again. Okay. All right. So, um, like I said, this requires for you to, uh, take off the rose tinted glasses. Um, you know, so many times we want to, we want to tell a story and we want to make ourselves look good. Um, but you know, Roses really be smelling like boo ooh ooh, okay. <laughs> um, shout out to Andre three thousand, okay, and um, big boy. But anyway, um, yeah. So let's let's talk about it. In this heart realm, you guys, you can also connect with your higher self, also known as the future self, but only once the inner child is healed. So in this heart realm, we should really be taking care of our inner child. We should be nurturing our inner child. We should be correcting our inner child, okay? Um, and finding healing within the heart space, the heart realm. Now, the connection with the higher self will allow you to see what's up and coming with accuracy. So this is also a realm within the heart where you can sense, see, feel what's coming OK, um, you can sense, see or feel storms and know that a storm is near or you can sense, see or feel victory and know that you've gotten a victory all in the realm of the heart. OK, <clears throat> the heart realm. In addition to this from um, in addition to like being able to sense and feel storms or victories, okay, or what's coming or going to happen next, um, because this room is heavily tied to your intuition or should be, <clears throat> it is also a room where you can clear energy, 
okay? You can connect directly to source. So you can you can di connect directly to God energy, okay? Um, and in this room, um, this is also the realm where warfare or spiritual battle take place, okay? This is the battlefield realm, okay? So this realm is also known as the battlefield, okay? Um, this realm is also very connected, like I said, to your intuition, but not only to your intuition. In this realm of the heart, you're also very connected to telepathy, dreams, and visions, okay? So as I was saying, stick to the end because now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about this dream that I had that was considered very prophetic, okay? <clears throat> so hopefully you guys, it motivates you or inspires you as it did me. I woke up out of this dream and I felt good about what I had seen, okay? Pay attention to your dreams at this time, okay? As they are very prophetic, okay, you guys? All right. So... In this dream that God gave me for this read, you guys, um, my family and I were driving on a narrow highway. My father was driving and I was in the back seat. Okay. Now up ahead, um, I could see out the window. Um, well, we, we could see out the window and we saw this large storm moving in. Okay. I mean, the sky ahead, you guys, it was dark and cloudy and you could see lightning coming down it looked like the sky would look when a tornado is coming or rolling in if you guys have ever seen something like that or even a hurricane okay like it just got out of nowhere up ahead was just dark it looked like nighttime okay <laughs> and um Y'all, I went to clenching my seatbelt I got real nervous I was like oh my god we're headed straight into this storm so my dad, as he's driving in the front seat, at first he says, we got to drive straight into that. And like I said, I was seated in the back seat. I was nervous. Um, I was afraid. Okay. I'm like, oh my God, these driving conditions are going to be so rough in this storm. We're not going to be able to see. It's just going to be bad. Like the wind's going to be blowing hard. It's like, I felt everything that storm was going to be coming with when we had to drive through it. Okay. 1235 on the clock. And as I as as I was sitting back there feeling all those feelings, um, we we drove a little closer to it, you know, it was still quite a bit of miles up ahead, but we could still see it. Um, and the storm just grew in intensity and size. The closer that we got to it, we could really see how big and how strong this storm might might have been, you know, perceived to be. So my dad, at one point, as we're driving down this long highway, he just slowed the car down. And it was before we got to the storm or in the storm, and he slowed the car down pretty much to a stop. And then he put the car in reverse. And because the road was so narrow, it kind of reminded me of the roads in Louisiana, where I'm from. Um, if you want to turn around in, in, in Louisiana on a street, you have to kind of do a turnabout. So you, you, you kind of reverse and then you turn and, you, and then you go forward and then you back up and you go forward and you back up until you get all the way turned around. Uh, because in Louisiana, there's ditches on, on both sides of the road. OK, and you don't want to drive your car off into the ditch. So you have to kind of do a little turnabout thing in order to be able to turn around in the middle of the street if you need to go back the other way. OK. So that's what my dad did. He put the car in reverse. He turned and he kept turning and backing up and turning and backing up until he got turned all the way around. The car was facing the opposite direction. And mind you, it was very similar to those roads because on each side of this freeway were these cliffs, like cliffs, okay? Um, and there were trees down off of them and it was like ditches, large ditches, but much bigger than ditches. These were cliffs. Okay. And, um, I was even nervous as he was doing the turnaround because I was like, Lord, don't back off the side of this cliff, you know? <laughs> and he didn't know. And, uh, he turned us all the way around and we got all set and turned. And then my father said out loud, um, we are not going to drive in that. 
And immediately, you guys, in my dream, I just got relieved. Like, oh my God. I was already relieved when he started turning around. Like, dad, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, no, we're not. We're not going to drive in that. So that was the dream that I was given for this read. Okay. For somebody out there, you guys were facing a huge storm. And I'm going to take the storm at this time and I'm going to call it a tower. Okay. You guys were facing a huge tower. And it's like, but God, God turned that thing all the way around. My father in this, this dream for you, it could be, it could be your literal father, but for me, it was God. Um, it could even be your, um, some masculine in your life. Okay. That you're tied to. <clears throat> All right. But it was a vibe where for me, it was God and God was letting me know, hey, we're turning this around. We're not driving in that storm. We're not going to that tower. We don't have to. We can go another way. And it's that type of an energy. So for somebody, that's what God is doing. God, that is what God is doing for you in your life. He is turning the automobile or turning the direction. He's changing directions because he's saying you do not have to go through that storm. That tower is not meant for you. Okay. So this has been the read. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye my loves.